okay so welcome back to my youtube channel once again so the channel name is be creative tv okay so if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification on so that you don't mix out all this great uh tutorial that i've been yeah, showing you guys because it's been a while since i applied and it's uh, one month ago uh, no problem because i have a channel that i'm working on so i just uh, have to spend more time on that channel but because i love you guys i uh, just uh, have to make a video for you so that you can enjoy this video so without wasting you guys time uh let's uh, get to the business real quick so we've been making this um wall frames which i've been making a lot of money from me as a side as of okay so i'm just feel like i'm just gonna show you how you can use your own picture to do all this for free so i just uh i uh, just download one of my pictures so i'm gonna show you how you're going to divide these pictures um into five and one uh, wall art so that you can just sell it online or use it at whatever you want to use okay so this car this is my wife and this is me <laughs> so um just let's get to the business real quick because i don't want to waste you guys time so what i'm going to do i'm going to head on to photoshop and i'm going to create a new document as i said to create five in one if you if you have been watching these videos five one to create five in one it depends on how you want it to be okay it depends on i i want it to be if you want it if you want it exactly what i want then you have to follow this if you want if you want to change your own uh let's say you want to make your own sizes you can just follow the tutorial and just do your own sizes and you get the idea from so what i'm going to show you so it's very simple and easy so to uh, create a new document you need to come to file new then you have to give your uh, document a name so let's say we are making uh personal all right personal five and one wall frame okay so you have to share this video because some of this video doesn't get much view i don't know but because i love it and it keeps making a lot of money so i decided to show you so as a five in one i normally make my tonnage different okay so 10 times five would be 50 right and the height probably i normally make it 30 okay so that i can just 30 i can just uh, reduce the sizes so 30 to be 30 by 25 or 20 or 15 or 10 so whatever you want you can just go ahead and do it so i'm just gonna make it 30 for the uh, purpose of this tutorial when you want to print your own out please make sure you make it 300 but if i make it 300 look at the uh, size is 386.2 megabytes which is very big okay so for the sake of this tutorial i'm just gonna make it 72 okay so when you want to print your own out please make sure you make it 300 so that i can get the eye details good so i'm just gonna hit okay so to divide this is very simple if you've been watching these tutorials and uh, then is to divide this is very very simple and i've been showing you guys to divide this uh it's not that difficult okay so you have to make sure that you guide your work then so let's first create a middle one so to create a middle one, you need to create control and okay so now let's go back to our so we make here 50 right 30 right and 72 resolution so now so this is where the magic happens so with the width i'm gonna make here 10 because i said 10 i normally divide it by 10 inch different okay so 10 by 30 will be the middle one okay so now you can just drag here because we are just using this as a guide for our calculation so that everything will be on point okay so i'm just gonna make this color let's say let's make it red Commodore is gonna be like red it's not bad so let's fill in here make sure it's for your from so it's, if you see um the width is 10 and the height is 30 okay then you get it correct good so let's drag this one here to our main composition and let's put it in here so now to see the middle of your work you, you have to unlock the background so photoshop will show you okay so this is the middle of your work so use the ruler to guide that place okay you can just drag guy and another guy here 25 so if you say here and here will be 15 by 15 times 15 a 15 plus 15 will be 13 right good so here will be 25 plus 25 will be 15 good so now we are good to go so now let's position this one clear good so now let's go and create a side and size so now as i said if i come to here as i and we made this one image size is 10 by 10 by 30 right good so let's make a new one so that you don't get confused so now let's switch it back 10 by 30 right good 
by 72 so this time around we are not going to take uh, we are not going to deduct any number from the 10 so we are going to detect it from the side so it depends on how you want it to be i personally want it to be 20. if you want it to be 25 fine if you want it to be 30 if you want it to be 15 fine but i'm gonna make it 20 because i want it 10 inch different good so now we have our composition setup i'm just gonna uh, use the um rectangular marquee tool to fill in with the, uh, this uh, layer right here so I'm just gonna change the color to something like uh, let's use and blue so I'm just gonna make this color blue okay good so I'm gonna fill in here fill in here okay so uh, for uh, sorry for all the background sound because uh, too much will around here so um, so I just want you to stay focused to this tutorial. So now I'm just gonna drag this one and put it in here. So now if you sell it, uh, Photoshop is gonna show you your middle of your work. So I can just drag it here and push it properly. So you can hold and hot, okay? Or Control J to duplicate. But I'm just gonna hold and hot, hot and drag, and it's create another one here. Good. So now we have side and side. Good. So I'm just gonna use my ruler to guide here too, so that. I don't get confused so let's come here let's come here and let's come here too good one all right so now let's go to the final one so that we can divide the picture and go ahead and print it out so now to create the final one you can just uh, make a uh, control N on a keyboard or come to uh, here and click on control N make sure uh it's photoshop default uh we make it 10 right the width was 10 and the previous here was 20 right good so i'm just gonna make here 10 okay as i said i make my 10 inch different okay so it depends on how you want yours to be you can make your 12 some people make it 12 but i make my all right so now this is what we have to do we have to um here okay, let's make here something like green green color okay so you can just go ahead and fill here then, then let's import into our project good so now you can order out or let's do now let's do control j and duplicate okay so you can just drag the other one here okay so now our um division is ready so you can say this save this one as a template and you can sell this one online because uh many people will feel oh how did you divide this online let me have the template you can just go ahead and sell the template in like ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars how much one that you prefer you can charge so i'm just going to save this one all right so our template is now saved so what we have to do now we have to uh, you can import any picture that you prefer so i'm just going to import my picture my own picture because i said i'm going to use my own picture to do this so i'm just going to drag and drop okay you can do ctrl o and navigate to your uh, picture so i'm just going to hit enter to accept and i'm going to right click and rasterize the picture so i'm going to hold down shift and alt and drag and fill in here oh no let's i want it to be uniform okay hold down alt and drag good 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 okay now so to see, to see the magic this is what you have to do you have to uh put your uh picture on beneath all these layers good so you can order shift and select all okay so you can turn down the opacity so you see where all your picture will be affected good so now oh now my watch uh no my watch will be gone okay no problem okay you can just go and uh, look for another picture if this doesn't work so let's see if we can use another picture because this one my watch everything will be gone let's see if we can use this one if not we are you just have to stay with that one okay let's see if this one will work now this one will not work because sometimes portrait picture doesn't work unless landscape so i'm just gonna stick to this picture um, because for the sake of this tutorial okay so i'm just gonna fill in here let's so that we just we don't lose bits of my wife uh 
let's drag this one up a bit okay all right so now let's do the division so to do the division is very simple make sure you lock all these things so that hold down oh, shift oh no let's lock all lock all good so now it's going to be able to select it so now let's uh, come here and use the rectangular marquee to make sure the feather is zero everything is zero zero so let's go for the middle one first so now you see your calculation will switch now you see 10 by 30 all right good so you can select the background right click layer via copy now you have your first copy okay good let's go to the other one side and side make sure the guide is perfectly selected so that one too is 10 by 20 good as i told you 10 by 20 uh let's this time right let's do control j layer via copy good let's select the background uh, picture again let's drag here layer via copy good so now let's go to the final one which is the side inside i think this is it's this one so layer is 10 by 10 right layer via copy control g control you will copy your or uh, this thing for you so now let's drag here to you hit m on the keyboard bring the marquee to select make sure your size is correct 10 by 10 good then control j or layer via copy control j good so now our work is ready to roll so this is what we have to do let's go ahead and make a new composition so to see the final artwork of our work good so this is where we call final point out good so now we do make here 50 right so now we are going to make it 55 so that we can have bits margin for the division so we make here 30 so let's make here 35 as i said if you want to print your workout make sure you make the terrain but i'm not going to print it i'm just going to leave it at 72 okay good so now let's go ahead let's go to our main comp and select our picture so this is the picture we can order alt select or boom so now let's drag and come to the printout boom the magic is ready to roll now we can just come back here one two three select order uh, shift and select one two three another shift one two three another shift one two three uh okay so now a picture frame is ready you can just go ahead and print it out and then we can give it a any background that you prefer normally i use dark gray when i'm printing so that it will match the edge okay so you can just go ahead and print it but uh my eyes oh one of my eyes uh, but no problem you can just go ahead because it's my picture i can use any picture that you prefer but if you frame this one it will work perfectly for you guys so that's it for today if you're new to the channel the channel name is be creative tv please make sure to subscribe to the channel with a notification so that i don't miss out all this great photoshop tutorial that i've been showing you guys so if you're new make sure you comment ask more questions okay keep the questions coming and i'll uh, be glad to answer you back so if you're new as i said make sure you share this video give it a thumbs up and leave down a great comment i will see you in the next video have a peaceful day